Video before, we were working a, a basic form of footwork, the Thai Sabaki, the Irimi and Tenkan, moving your leg from the rear, stepping in, and then turning your body with the exit, huh? making a semi-circular movement going backwards. Um, today, we are going to make this exercise with the partner a little bit more complex. We're going to add a few factors in here. The first is that the footwork is going to be twice as much. And the second is that my partner is going to be making contact with me with a basic wrist grip that I also have to lead as I move my body around and under his arm and body. So the drill goes like this. Katate tori jakuhami. So that means, katate tori means for him to just grab my wrist. Jakuhami, jaku means opposite. So if I got my right foot forward, my partner is gonna line up with me with his opposite leg, left foot forward, and then I'm gonna offer my front hand for him to come up and do a grip. So this is katate tori jakuhami. Uh, <clears throat> it's important the way I look at it, for Aikido practice, that we do not necessarily see this as, a, as an attack, and more as a point of reference, a point of physical connection between the two of us, for us to have something to work with, in this case, the footwork and the connection as we move. So the first thing that we're going to do is that lightly, <clears throat> when he comes and grabs my wrist, I want to focus on my center, bringing my gravity down and gently extending myself towards him. So I'm pushing into his hand, which is going to create a natural reaction of wanting to stop it. So he's also pushing slightly towards me. So that's the first thing to kind of like start uh, uh, looking for when you practice with your partner. So if we separate again and then we come together, once you set your kamai and he grabs your hand, immediately you push into it, and he's pushing into it, so we are establishing a connection. But that connection is also a contradiction, because we both are going in opposite directions. But as soon as I change the angle, now his energy is able to travel through. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So, we establish the connection. Now, I'm going to start directing the energy into the point of non-resistance at the same time that I apply my footwork. And we're going to have to break this down and slow down to put it all together. So, the first thing to understand for the footwork in this case now is that I have two patterns. The first pattern is going to use my lead foot to do a slide behind him, and then I can use my back foot to complete the semicircle backwards and do back to back. Once I got the connection, and I got that push, and I do my footwork, irimi, tenkan, I can switch the hand position, and his focus now for training is to maintain this grip as much as he can and relax the entire body, so the entire body can follow the hand. What I want to do with this blade here is I want to extend it out and bring him around, just basically to establish the same position that we used to start on the other side. And this is where the drill now changes to the second piece. I want to extend that blade up and away like a sword, and I'm creating an opening under his arm, all right? So right now I'm just gonna let him go and extend the arm out so you can understand what I'm doing with the second part of the footwork. So in this case now, I'm gonna go into the basic Thai Sabaki, which is entering from the back foot behind him, and then using my back foot in this case now to rotate back and switch my position. So once I'm doing that, I extend my blade out. My other hand can make some contact with his body and his ribs. Then I can enter without hunching with my back, so I really gotta maintain my body straight by using my extension and my posture and then I can move my body out as I switch and my partner is sensitive enough to understand what's happening and readjusting his position to start the drill on the other side. This is a complex drill. 
it has many little ingredients. So I'm gonna continue breaking them down and then we will show you how to do it in a flowing manner. The next ingredient is gonna be the breathing, all right? So the basic footwork, it was a step in, you inhale, a step out, you exhale. This one has four steps. I got step one, step two, then I turn him around, I open step three and step four, and then he switches and we start all over again. So the first two steps, we both together, we're gonna inhale. In the rotation, we hold the air, and with the second two steps, then we are going to exhale. So the drill is gonna start coming together more like this. So this is one of those exercises that you might question, especially at the very beginning, and if you come from a different martial arts background, you know, what is this good for? <laughs> How can I use that in a, in a fighting situation? Okay, so open your mind, relax. We're not talking about fighting, we're talking about just a drill, just a new way for you to train yourself to develop better posture, better footwork, better centering, and better connection. It doesn't matter if you're fighting or you're practicing Aikido, you're doing Tai Chi. If you are inside on the ring, off the ring, you need to be connected with your opponent. In this case, my, my partner. So we establish the connection here. So no matter what, we both want to make sure that this always exists. And this is something that you cannot just think about it. You have to train yourself, actually, not to think at all, and to feel it. And the way to feel is by repetition, repetition, repetition in a relaxed, proper manner with the breathing pattern. So if I put him now here in a 45 degree angle so we can get a different look of the same exercise, so we can both connect, extend, and then focus on the breathing and just practice the Irimi Tenkan Tai Sabaki. So it turns into this very pleasant flow exercise with your partner that is going to allow you to develop a, a special behavior for Aikido practice that then you are going to transfer in the application of all of your techniques. Instead of becoming rigid and uh, frozen, then you're naturally going to have that way of moving and breathing connected to the ground, lined up and connected to your partner.